<laughs> so tonight on YouTube, guys, um, as, as is usual here lately, um, we're not able to read the comments li live on the stream. Um, so if you want to comment, unfortunately, right now you've got to go to the Facebooks. And I, I, I apologize for that. We're, we're going to try to figure something out. Um, actually, you know what? Um, the last time I, I had this thing that I was going to do. Mm, <laughs> yeah. And I forgot when we were doing it. So um, I had it all set up. So I'm, I'm going to try to do that tonight. Because I, I want to... I, I, hate, I hate that we can't read the, the, the YouTube comments. You, YouTube is where all this started. And it's just like, ah. So, okay. So here... Well, actually, I'm going to have to start this, and then I'm going to have to look, I think, because so, it won't let me do it. Let's okay, do guys, it. we're going to start this, and then we're going to start it again. <laughs> I don't know. It's all we're starting. starting things. <laughs> there we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, tonight's going to be a lot of fun. We, we, we have some, some things that we're going to be doing, and we're going to be looking at how to see music. Um, so it's just, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and, it, and that's leading up to the Mandy Harvey, Harvey concert that is tomorrow night. Um, you know, it's a virtual concert, but I'm painting live, in the, or I'm painting her using her music tomorrow. But um, so, you know, it's leading to that. We've had a wonderful, crazy weekend. It's been really interesting. And here, let me let me try to do something really quick. I am I am bound and determined to be able to get the chat on one of these days. So let me see. I'm, I'm listening to my, my Bluetooth. I'm just hoping the audio is going because it is not coming through on my single AirPod. Uh oh, it's not. <laughs> no. Oh gosh, if anybody's out out there, can you tell us if you hear us? I'm gonna try. Um. Gosh, I don't see the thing where... Well, I was going to try to do the... Well, we can only read the chat on Facebook. And, um, and right now, we can't read the chat on U YouTube. Um, so I was hoping that we would have a thing where, you know, they would come, it would put, it would throw them all together. But right now, we're not at that... Sp that <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got audio. Oh, yay, audio. That's, good. I mean, That's a good start. There the whole time, you know, but it's just my... On a stream that's about music, I think audio is probably a good thing. <laughs> but so that's good. But tonight, tonight's going to be a lot of fun. We, we have some things that are planned. Um, we're going to talk about music. Um, I want to show you some really cool artists that have done some incredible paintings in the past. We're going to talk about some art, music, painting things that, that, that I've done, um, and all that kind of fun stuff, and just the regular stuff. And... Um, I should say we were going to every once in a while like um, somebody will send us stuff and they'll ask us to review it. Um, oh gosh! <laughs> yeah, we um, so Slice sent us. Uh, they're, they're, it's an art com company and they, they they make different cutters and things. So they said they they sent us some stuff and uh, to be able to to make a video or review it, you know, and, and put it on social media. So. Um, Slicing good fire bad. Yeah, we <laughs> we were going to. We we were gonna make a quick a quick thing before um, the live stream tonight, and then uh, Jackie comes in all, all dressed up. Here's the funny thing: we're there and I say, "Hey, Jackie, are you gonna tell me what you're gonna dress up tonight as?" And she's like, "No, I think I think I'll go look for a onesie." And I'm like, "Do we have onesies?" And she's like, "Yeah, I've got onesies. We've got, we've got onesies." And then so so she goes off, and then she comes back with a with a Frankenstein outfit. And I said, "We have a Frankenstein outfit." What the heck? <laughs> Kind of household where we just had bags of mustaches and Frank well, Frankenstein. I mean, you know, it's it's the artist's lifestyle. So yes. Instead of doing the the um, the review of the slice cutters and different things tonight, because <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we would explain just Jackie back there like Frankenstein. It would be it would be Arr. awesome. I'd be like, you know, for the affordable cutter and it really is nice <laughs> and the safety features are amazing and Jackie's just back there. Ah. <laughs> Fireman. You know, it's, it, it, it reeks of TikTok. <laughs> I think we could do it. Yeah. Well, Ron Captain has joined us, says hi, guys. And, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> uh, Ron Stuffer has joined us, says hey, everyone. 
Uh, Linda Everton has joined us and says, voted today, too. Oh, Way to awesome. do your civic duty. Ooh, ooh, um, and uh, Kylie Sykes says, good evening to you both. Uh, we can hear you fine. <laughs> so All right. Well, thank awesome. you. Um, my mom has joined us. Says, hi, guys. And well, hey. Um, a lot of people are telling us they hear us. Thank you for letting us know. Thank it, you. It, thank in you. fact, the whole AirPod thing, it's oh, a thing. Oh, that's a story. <laughs> but I will say, um, we're going to do a video about the cutters and everything, the slice. I, I really do like them. They just send them to us, so, like, you know, we don't we don't have to, you know, I mean, you know, if we didn't like them, we'd be able to say, but what I like about it is that it doesn't cut you. I like that. <laughs> that's nice. There you go. Yeah, and, and the other one, though, we haven't, we haven't unboxed it yet, so I want to try it, but anyway. Well, yes, Kylie says the art class is still talking about your presentation. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Mike has joined us. He told us he can hear us and that um, Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven. Oh. So. Nice. You can do art to that music. There you go. Anyway, yeah. so the, I'll, I'll share that I only have one AirPod. I've, I'm down to one AirPod because <laughs> I have, swear. You have two neck bolts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so one I okay. Here's the story with the, the AirPod. I mean, and I know I've already like joked about Jack dropping it in the toilet, and ugh, that was. Bleh. Anyway, so I wear my AirPods at night, and at t I sleep with them in, or at least I fall asleep listening to something, and they're always out of my ears in the morning, and I just like rummage through my sheets and find it, and blah blah blah. So what was it two two nights ago i or two mornings ago i couldn't find it in the sheets and i was like you know what whatever i'll find it later and then of course get up go to the restroom the minute i'm I, i'm about to sit down i i guess it was caught in the folds of my shirt and it just fell in the toilet <laughs> and so luckily i hadn't used it so i didn't have a problem digging around but the problem that but then it it fell down into the hole i guess that the water shoots out of and it's basically gone forever so I have a random AirPod in, in the toilet in a hole somewhere. Some some alligator down in the sewers <laughs> has one one of the has that AirPod. He's listening to what to whatever it is you're listening to. He's got it. He's got the other one. <laughs> I know. So it's funny because there you. I mean, you can in theory use one. Like I ran with Nancy and I just used the one. So I can do it. And I hate to buy new AirPods. I don't know. So here I am, one AirPod down. Man. Oh, oh, and here I want to show you guys this. We we do a sound check every <laughs> oh um God. every <laughs> before every show to make sure the mics are working and everything. <laughs> so this is today's sound check. Err, fire pad. Err, fire pad. Err, <laughs> yeah. fire pad. Err, fire pad. My favorite part of that is that I can let it run forever. <laughs> but <laughs> so today's sound check was. Just no different than any other sound check that we do. <laughs> Pretty much. They're goofy. They're goofy. Uh, my mom said, o only my daughter. Oh. <laughs> I learned it from watching you. <laughs> oh, but. Um, so you're working on a brand new painting. Oh, yeah. That's kind of way. exciting. You should share. Okay, I can do that. Oh, and the stream deck is working now. The thing that I clicked to make it go places, I mean, the camera and stuff, is working again. So that's nice. Like. It had to update. Once it updated, still didn't work. But finally, the update clicked in, I guess. Um, which doesn't mean anything to anybody except that I memorized where the buttons are to be able to do things. So I can just like hit it, and I don't have to think about it, and I don't have to use the Bluetooth with it. So it makes it really easy. So now I'm super stoked. Yay! Anyway, watch me push a button <laughs> to go to go to the to this. All right. So. Um, so this is a painting that I'm working on. It's a commission, and it's like a 40 inches by 30. Is that yeah, right? yeah, and it's it's gonna. I'm I'm really really excited about this painting, but I want to I want to give y'all I want to give you a heads up. The finished painting is not gonna look anything like this. I mean, there is gonna be a cabin, but this is just basic bl blocking out of the painting. So this is a really really, you know, if you ever want to see how the sausage is made. <laughs> This is like the nitty gritty of the sausage. This is not pretty. Nobody wants to see this. <laughs> this is the under layers and, and whatever. And, and I know, and I know, like you know, it, we, we hang out here a lot. And uh, so, if, if you've heard me say that, but this this is just the under layer. So I'm blocking in the painting. And the idea here is that it's going to help affect the light as it comes into the paint that's going to lay on top of this. So so this paint isn't necessarily meant to be seen. It's just there for the paint that's going to be on top of it. So it's going to give it more of a a deeper depth. Deeper depth? That's, is that redundant? 
No, it could be cool. deeper. Anyway, deep, deeper depth <laughs> and <laughs> more profound <laughs> profoundness. <laughs> no, but um, the, but, but that way when the light goes in and it's it's just not hitting white um, canvas all the time. So it, it, it's a stand of trees and it's this really cool story about. Um, the, this family, they had like this small cabin, and in uh, the generations, it's like would go there, and you know, and it's just it's this really neat, I don't know, family sort of story. Um, them kind of being there with the land and all, and I, I really get that. You know, gr- growing up, we went to Cedar Creek Lake a lot, which is a lake in East Texas, and we went there almost every weekend, and you get to know every tree. You know, you just you just get to know the place. You you know the lake. You know, you know. When you go swimming out in a lot, you know exactly where everything is. It's just, you know, and and, and you don't even have to have to think about it. And and it's a place. And, and that for me as a child was a place where my cousins went, um, my older cousins, aunts, uncles. I mean, for you know, so there's several generations that would go to that place. And um, and my mom and dad now have a place on a different lake, and and that sort of um, we're building that same thing there. With uh, had an aunt and uncle that lived on the other side of the channel, and and then. Um, they they don't have that anymore, but Jack has grown up r- around there. So something like this is very personal to me. I just say it's so cool because I, I really get how you can get connected to a place and, and you know and the, and and feel it. So um, it's 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 interesting though when you're doing a commission like this because you know that person has their own memories and, and their own their own connection with it. So I feel like when I'm doing a painting like this, I almost feel like a director in a movie. You know where it's like, all right, if we if we were going to do a film of, of your ideas of, of your place, this this is what I would do. And of course, they would cast different people, and they would you know do the sets, and you would look at it, and you were like, that doesn't really look like the life that I lived. <laughs> I don't look like Brad Pitt, you know, and I don't look like this or that. And but um, you know, but it's a story, so I'm just trying to tell the story. That's, so that's what I'm working on, guys. That's cool. Well, Kim has joined us and says, uh, "Nice yellow sky." And um, uh, Kylie said, two funny guys. Ah, um, yeah, and this is going to be, like, this is the sky back there, but all the trees, there's, there's going to be so many more trees there here, too. And see, I was kind of, when you first laid down that yellow, I was kind of imagining it being a throwback to Morning Forest. Mm. You know that, you know what painting I'm talking about? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um, I could really see some, like, beams of light coming through oh yeah yeah yeah. well there there will be there will be there's there's actually going to be some white and stuff put through here um it's not going to be beams like morning forest but there's going to definitely be some some lightness and a lot of darks and this cabin right here um is going to look nothing like this i just wanted to cover up the white so i put i put in burnt burnt sienna um just to block it in and then there's going to be a lot of darkness in there and different where it'll let the boards and stuff come through. But um, then over here, like with this tree over here, there's actually foliage. The the people that are on there, they're not going to look like that. I just kind of drew them in. Um, and the guy, frankly, right now, he looks like a, um, to me, he looks like a Fred Flintstone, like car- cartoon villain. Uh, <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, I'm just drawing it in really quick. And it's um, it's just a placeholder until I go in, and you know, just, just for basic shapes, basically. So, um you know, so it's just it's just for that. So that's so that's what I'm working on right now. You know, I finished the tropical one. I was working on this other one, and it's I'm actually um I, I was doing so the other painting that I've been working on and will will be working on um um will will be for tomorrow for the Mandy Harvey concert, which is going to be really cool, and it's going to be a concert that's raising money for no no barriers. Um, which is a really great nonprofit, and it, and and they're going to be doing the concert tomorrow. Um, and oh yeah, I wonder if I can share the link. Oh, that'd be awesome. If if we can't now, we'll definitely share it tomorrow. And we'll share lot, lots of information about it. But it's really cool. Mandy Harvey is so sweet. She's so nice. She's incredibly talented, and her music is awesome. And um, so I'm I'm doing a painting of her playing playing the ukulele with her music. And um, and it, it's going for a charity that Eric, Eric Weinheimer, um, he, he it's like his, his his thing and it's really incredible. I've, I've I've done I've done a number of different events with them and the amount of work they do with with children and people and it's such a positive kind of just incredible a- atmosphere. And that's how I met Han- Mandy Harvey was doing one of the events with Eric and, and it was just a really really cool and they were all so nice. It's just the kind of people that you want to be around and enjoy being around, and 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 um, 
And I thought it was really cool because she called and said that she wanted to do an event um, to really promote optimism during this time, just positive energy and all that. I was like, heck yeah, that sounds brilliant. Heck that's a great yeah. idea. So, so well, from um, the phone call, that's what it's led to. <laughs> well, Michael McCullough has joined us and says Frankenstein, question mark? <laughs> yes. More like monster. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. And, um, and Kim said, did you do the ground foliage with knives? Yes, yes. Well spotted. <laughs> um, yes, I, I sure have. And um, I'm going to be doing more on the trees. And then in the background, I'm, um, I'm going to use more of a sort of a tinting and a glazing kind of effect so that um, it'll, it'll have more of an atmospheric kind of effect. So, which is why I haven't done these trees yet. So I've, I've focused down here. I just wanted to get some of the texture. Uh, but this isn't going to be the the um, the final texture, of course. So, so I'm going to I'm going to go in down here um, and and use brushwork and stuff to be able to to make it more um, um, detailed in a way. I don't want it to be too detailed because um, I, I don't I don't want to lose that fun impressionistic um, feel that you get. You know where you know it's like I you know I just love that. I loved it when I love it when the colors blend and then and they blend in your mind. And you, you know, and, and so this, this is like a fairly big painting. How long do you think it'll take you to do? I don't know. Um, I feel like you're asking that like a boss. Like, <laughs> so when will this uh, be on? So I, when are you moving on to the next one? Um, I, I don't really know because I, I wasn't going to use a palette knife, and then I was working on it today, and I thought this needs a palette knife for this. It would just make it so much cooler, so much better. Um, it but it, it requires a lot more work. I, I love when you use a palette knife. I'm oh, a fan. Thanks. thanks. Um. But it's just you know I, I love that so so um, whatever a painting needs that's what we do so so that that may add a couple days to it but I'm not really sure I mean I'm hoping um, well Kylie asks what's the name of that painting um, sorry if I missed it but this you, one yeah you don't have a name for it oh no I don't yet you never we, well you never name the paintings before. I like for the paintings to name themselves. <laughs> <laughs> speak to painting. me, speak to me. <laughs> Jerry? Is that Jerry? Jerry? It's this Jerry. painting is Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Jerry. <laughs> I misspoke. It's official. <laughs> um, let me see here, let me see here. Uh, cause well, I should say, I did I did share the, the Mandy Harvey concert. That's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. at, it's 8 p.m. Eastern. Um but uh, I shared the link in in you know the comments, so anybody that's curious wants to check it out. She's amazing, beautiful music, and John's gonna paint. Yeah, yeah, and that's um so so that's that's gonna be a lot of fun. And um, and honestly, it is just it, it is a really really good cause. I um so I mean you know and it's fun like they're talented like Mandy Harvey's really talented, and um, so you know. So if you don't have anything going on, you want to tune in, it doesn't cost a thing. And it should be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm definitely going to be tuning in. Well, Kim says, uh, I would I like mean, to well, see you obviously, use... Obviously, I guess. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> Come to think of it. That's Kim said, I would like to see you use the palette knife. I'm not good at impressionism. I do realism better. I tell you what, you want to see me use a palette knife, I'll use a palette knife right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me let me do that. Um, um, uh, and... I do want to talk about like the way other artists and stuff use like paint music, in in the way I do too. But mm -hmm. um, uh, let me think. What do you mean? Oh, yo, oh, oh, that's right. I, I couldn't think of what the. I was trying to listen to my. I can't think and, and read stuff at the same time. I had to go through <laughs> my Bluetooth because uh, there there was a video I knew that you put on here, but it was for Kandinsky. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew. I knew. Yeah. I knew. I knew there was another thing other than you going fire bad. <laughs> But it's something for later. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, anyway. Well, anyway. Casey Lindelk joins us, says, Hey, John, how's it going? Hello from North Carolina. Sorry if my phone is not understanding me. I wanted to say hello, and I love your work, and you have such a beautiful testimony. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, thank you so much. That's, that's so nice. <coughs> it, oh, this week. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, I know. One thing I want to tell you guys. We, we went, we, um, so we hung the mural, the giant mural that we've had here Ooh. forever and we haven't been able to talk about. Yes. Which we still can't talk about, but Wednesday is the unveiling of it, and oh my goodness, I cannot wait to be able to talk about it. Yes. Because, <laughs> you know, God. It's exciting. It, w it was like a weight, maybe a 400 pound weight, because that's how much that thing weighs, mm. has been lifted off our shoulders. It is up on the wall. Man, it is yeah. out of the living room. And it's so great. The facility where we're hanging it, 
everybody is so nice, so brilliant, so helpful. I mean, um, these are just huge panels. Like, in, in, in the architect for the building came out for it to help help hang it. The 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 contractor that built the building came out, and um, you know, and it's funny because like you know, like you know, because they're like the you know, and then the and, and so many different people, and they had a work crew out there, you know, of construction workers that. And they were all gold hat construction workers, which meant, means that they, they'd all been working for at least 10 or 15 years with an amazing record. It just this incredible amount of people. And then, and, and it was just really awesome. But, but it was cool, though, because, like, the, the contractor said, you know, that's, that's my wall. If we need to knock, you know, we want to put knock holes in it, put screws, whatever, you know, like the old oh, and painters the, and stuff out there to fix it. There and, were lots uh, of holes by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> no, nah, well... Well, I mean, be, good holes. Yeah, thing. yeah, no, it was having 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 a, having like a contractor that's like they, they build know. giant buildings, like yeah. con- type of contractor and an architect that designs giant buildings. Um, there, um, you, that would seem like it'd be overkill to hang a painting, <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, we all thought it would be done in maybe like I don't know, three and a half, four hours. But we were there for like a good eight hours. Everybody, like eleven people working on it, plus like three security people running around yeah it was pretty it was pretty awesome i mean because when we first got you know typical to us we were we you know got the gig and we're like whatever you want we can do it we're having not fully fully thought it through (laughs) so i think our our understanding before it was all like getting to the final stage was me and john we were gonna have to hang this thing somehow by ourselves just figure it out and luckily Luckily, that was not the case because I mean, it took it took like six dudes just to lift the two panels. You know, there was six panels total, but just to lift them and position them on these clips, and I, we just kind of sat there and rooted them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so <laughs> it was they, awesome. they, had, they had to mount sheet um, sheet metal to the walls, and then on the sheet metal they had to mount like a Z clip hanging system that went like twenty four feet. Yeah, on that, and then and then they had to do that twice, like for the top and that because they're ten foot tall and. And, um, you know, and they're just climbing all over the place. It was really cool, you know. But but one thing, though, like, you know, when we accept a project like that, it's because it's exciting and it's for a really good reason. And I can talk about that. We're like, well, on Thursday, we'll really talk about it. But it's a very positive kind of thing. And and I knew that we could figure it out. We, we'd get it done, you know. Yeah, we always figure it out. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's people, just. I mean, like, it's stuff that's been done. People. Yeah, people have done enormous like paintings on canvas. It's just a couple of sleepless nights in between the process. Yeah, yeah, but it's cool. But it was worth <laughs> it though because the message that it sends, because of where it's hanging and all, was such a positive, such a you know, wonderful thing that I thought, you know, I you know, gosh, let's we you know let's let's do it. It's worth the the sleepless nights. Well, uh, Brian has joined us and he says you better be getting good pictures of these costumes. Uh, they need to be go in a scrapbook. <laughs> and uh, and then he said 400, weight, 400 pound weight lifted off your shoulders Are you saying I come hang out too much Zing, <laughs> Zing. Ha. Uh. Um, And then Kim says What is the term for relating color and music I can't wait to see your new mural Oh thank you Thank you Well you know um, if, if you if you see color when you hear music um, It's a form of synesthesia um, Which is just sort of a um, a crossing of the senses in the brain, you know, where then there's lots and lots of different forms of synesthesia. One of them is when you hear music, you see color, and that's and that's probably the most common form. And and I, I have that, and I have a little bit of taste to color too, but it's not nearly like like how the music to color is. With with, with taste to color, it's just a few different tastes have a kind of an, a a bit of a color. But there's some people that have synesthesia, so you know. Um, Whenever they, they hear something, they might taste a certain taste. Or they might, um, or if they're reading a book, maybe the, the consonants will be a different color than the vowels. And it's just, they know it's not, but it, it seems like in their brain, like the vowels might be red or something. You know, it's just your, your senses are, are a little, are, are wired in a little bit of a different way. And I'm not explaining that very well. <laughs> but, um, but the nice thing about it, I, I, think, I, I think a lot more people are like that than they realize. I, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it, you know, because there's so many, like, n- neurons connecting in your brain that I think there's just paths that have been kind of interwoven together. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like even like with vision and stuff, like, um, 
so the light will come into your eye and then you have the optic nerves and, the, and it goes through the occipital lobe but it goes through your entire brain and little fibers and little nerves will come off the the the, 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 the you know as, as the nerve is going back there it's not you know it's not necessarily like a, a, a wire in the wall you know I mean it might have little tendrils little fibers going off because it has to go all the way through the brain then t until it get, till it gets to the occipital lobe so whenever your eye gets excited it might be firing another part of the brain as well you know so um, and it's the same with the ears so you know so it's, there's like nerves that are kind of connecting so whenever you hear something it might you know it's connecting to like the visual part as well a little bit well Karen Teeter has joined us and is waving hello well hey hey um, and so this y like I mean you've painted a ton of paintings over the years and I, I there was like a whole series I don't know if you grabbed any of those images of know. of your paintings when you did that whole series of like interpreting music into the paintings so you had like you did the buddy holly one and, oh yeah 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 um you did apple pie yeah and well, coffee and coltrane mm -hmm. I, don't, yeah. I didn't i didn't i didn't grab those <laughs> <laughs> i did grab some other ones okay <laughs> that would have been should good tell us about when that. i was putting that to, oh let me say really quickly about the the palette knife using a palette knife is really really easy um, and it's great if you like using different mediums as well because you can you can put really thick mediums. There's mediums for acrylic paint that makes it feel like oil paint. And then, and then you say, well, if you want it to feel like oil paint, why not just use oil paint? That is an option. But the acrylic dries a whole lot faster. And then, and then so I can have part of a painting. I can use the same acrylic paint. I can have part of it that will work and feel like oil paint while I'm using it. And then using the same paint, I can, I can have another part that's much thinner. And still using the same paint, I can have another area like up here where I'm going to do some tinting and glazing. I just I'm just adding different mediums to it, so I'm making the paint work in different ways. So, um, but the making it feel like oil paint, like what I have on here right now, it is just awesome. So here, let me. Did you already say what the medium is that you mixed um, in? It's a heavy stru structure gel. Mm, so I'm going to hold that nice. up. But see, it's just thick. It's just paint. It just makes it feel nice and creamy when you touch it. But um, but using a paint knife though, um, it just takes a little bit of practice with it. And for me, like what what I'm doing, what I'm using it for on this one, is is I get a little bit of the texture, and I and I'm using two different colors at a time. So like right now I've got uh, I have a deep cadmium yellow, and a really light green, and and I'm putting those down. So I'm feeling where I did before, and then I, I'm I'm just laying it down, because I I want I want that mixture of it. Because I want it, uh, I want it to undulate a little bit. In some places, I'm going to leave it, but in most of those places, I'm actually going to paint over it. But when I paint over it, I'm going to be using a semi-transparent paint so that it will cover all these little mixes that I have going on. So I have like some deep blues and deep greens, mix them with the light greens, mix them with the yellow. So, so going in here, there's lots and lots of different colors. It's sort of undulating through it, and then I'm going to go in with a brush and I'm going to use that semi-transparent paint to paint in details but it's going to give it more depth you know so are you going to do this in the on in the top portion like are you going to use the palette knife in the top portion for the trees i am mm -hmm. and then for and for some of the fo foliage that's up there but before i do that so i, I see like i've kind of here like i've stopped right here mm -hmm. um with the palette knife so i'm going to stop here because i'm going to do some tinting some glazing will be the next step for the top over here um this is just going to take a lot of work at the cabin. <laughs> so that's, that's the cabin is its own other project. <laughs> so, um, but for the background though, I, I want to do a lot of different like subtle shifts, and then I want to have some some highlights put in. So it's like it's like the um, the sky back there. So I, I'm going to do that with very opaque to titanium white, and then next to that, I'm going to put in a thin down, uh, uh, um, a, um, a titanium white that has uh, like a flow release put into it so it'll let some of the color come in and that's that's why I put the orange and the yellow back here because I, even though I'm gonna white out part of it some of it I'm not gonna completely white out so it'll, it'll be a nice it'll, it'll look like the light is coming through you know, so um, well uh, Kim says uh, heavy structure gel can you put the camera on the painting for a sec uh, like you might like take our uh, what are this uh, you know what I moved the table I have the heavy structure gel over there it's just a jar that says heavy structure gel on it um well move okay do it well I think the part of yeah I mean getting us out of the way the part of the issue right now with the camera is that it's really dark by the oh is it where yeah like when you move, yeah you gotta move out of the okay here put it I got an idea 
Da 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 da. Yeah, so it's pretty. That's nice and thick, man. Okay, I'm trying to put it an angle. Hold on, if I put this down, maybe they can see you. Over no, there. no. Can they see? What up? What So the studio's a wreck. Um, so I don't know. So it's not very thick. Um, yet. Yet, yeah, and that's and that's the thing too is that I'm building it up, so it isn't it isn't that thick yet. Um, but I don't want to do it all all at one time because if I have this so. The texture that I'm putting on with the palette knife right now is mostly so I can get this undulating of light and dark. So it's really for the tone, and I will put some some thick, really thick later. But if I do that now, I won't be able to do the brush strokes. So right now I'm using um, kind of a small um, paint knife. So let me see where is it? Okay, is this showing up? So it's yep. just one of the small ones. I love this. It, lo it looks like a trowel. So I love this, in it, but I'm doing it, I'm using the flat side. So so, so as, as I'm going along, I'm, I'm just making like a, a flat little little rectangle sort of shape. Going and going. Because I want it flat because I'm going to go back over with the brush later and add in more detail. And then in some areas, I'm going to go in and make it really thick. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick and crazy. Well, Kim says thank you. Oh, sure, sure. So I, 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 that, that was a terrible explanation, and I apologize. But well, I will think on it, and I will do it better next time. <laughs> share some of your... Um, I do have Frankenstein factoids. Ooh, do you? Okay. It's really the show is about me. <laughs> but, or, in, and we could talk about your music stuff, so... Here we go. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Here's some music. Okay. Wait, so you got to preface it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> well, I was going to... I was going <laughs> to... Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, so... In the in the in my studio, music is actually a really big part of my painting. In fact, like the the, the 737 that I painted, the reason I got that gig was only because I when I hear music I see color, and it was for a concert. And like the the plane was to to promote a um, a concert, and they were just they were thinking like, well, how do we how do how do we visualize a concert on on a plane? Like how do we show people like, hey art and but it's music and and so they, they and then so they heard that that's kind of what i did they're like hey could you do it and i was like heck yeah i can do it because reasons that jackie already said <laughs> <laughs> if we think it's cool we just we say yes do it. <laughs> yeah if it's cool yeah we're all about it um <laughs> so um but so what, what i do though is i listen to music and i and i and i see the color now you don't have to have synesthesia for this to work um in fact one of the artists that i, I want to talk about a little bit about is kandinsky Wassily Kandinsky. If you've never met a Wassily, you have now. So Wassily Kandinsky is an amazing guy. And we went to the Guggenheim and saw his work. We did. And yeah. I honestly Spiraled didn't all the way up through his. Yeah, life. I didn't appreciate it as much as I should have, and I wish I had a little. I wish I had. I was listening to something while walking it, and we weren't. I was, you know, I appreciated the heck out of it until it was like. We're like court scurrying through and through <laughs> and through, and then we're like <laughs> grabbing onto the edge. You're like, oh, God. this guy painted a lot of stuff. We're gonna slide down this thing, right? <laughs> He's like, we should have started at the top and we've gone downhill and I've just gone backwards in his life. It's <laughs> like, good grief, this guy could have taken a break at a time or two. <laughs> and then we get somewhere and there's like, oh, oh, there's a whole other gallery of drawings. We're like, what? <laughs> yeah, like we're good. <laughs> oh my goodness, but it was it was cool. So, okay. okay, so the first one is uh, maybe a surprise, but it's, Je it's Jeff Bridges. But I put that on there because um, he loves music, and he's a musician, and he's won an awards for it. He's, you know, he's, real, he's amazing, and, um, and when, whenever I had the chance to meet him and stuff, really mostly what we talked about was music. Like even like he was really, he rolled around the floor with my first guy dog Echo and it was really just really cool. But but we hung out in his music studio at his house and we just talked about music and he got his laptop out and he was playing all these tracks and stuff. And we were talking about how art and music are just so much alike. And he had this huge mural painted in his studio that he had an artist come in and paint it while while, while they played music so it would inspire. It was just really cool and I just thought it was really neat. And um, so I thought, you know, hey, that's uh, so I wanted I wanted to share about that. Um, the next one is is Dead Mouse because um, I listen to lots of different kinds of, of music, um, a lot of jazz, a lot of blues, and um, but you know I listen to other things as well. And, and and this one I wanted to get the energy from it. So whenever I listen to music in the studio, sometimes what I'm trying to get is the rhythm and the beat. 
And um, and, and this is something that you can do, like you can use music for, like um, to get to get the feeling for something. So like if I'm doing a commission for someone, and maybe it's a wife, and she wants a commission of when she first met her husband, and so it's a very broad idea. It's like it's like oh you know we we met at, at a lake and. And we were out there, and it was a, the sun was setting, and I felt amazing, and I knew this this was the time, and that's it. You know, like you paint whatever you want, that, but I want that feeling. <laughs> do it. Yeah, do it. Make it happen. And I'm like, I love that idea. That just sounds beautiful. That's brilliant. I would love to try to capture that. Um, but how do you know what another person's feeling? Music is a really great way to do that. So whether or not like you see color with music, like I, I can ask her, like, well, what songs make you feel that way? So she can tell me like artists and songs and albums and all this like well when I when I hear this song it makes me think back back to that kind of like um kind of like every time I hear the song oh what a night by 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 by, by Fr Frankie Valley it may it makes me think of you it makes me think about I'm back in the apartment you know where where I lived when when I met you and it's just so much it's just joy and happiness and and all that even though it's an older song you know that you know, <coughs> we met you know but it was just the song that played. So music like that can really do something. So in a game, I mean a game, in a painting like this, it's just trying to capture the energy, um, very impressionistic sort of people, but the colors come come from the music. So um, what is this one? Um, uh, oh gosh, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank. Keith Richards? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. I know I put him there. So this, this is sort of the same thing, and of course he's smoking a cigarette because it's Keith <coughs> Richards, and he's been alive forever, and he'll be alive oh, forever. I love us all. It's yes. cool. And um, so, but with his with his um, face and all, like they 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 play rock and roll, of course, but they're really inspired by the blues, and that's what got 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 them into it. So, whenever I was doing this painting, I was listening to a lot of the blues, and sometimes the blues really are blue, you know. <laughs> so it kind of works out. Some sometimes they're not, but um, but some of the songs that I was listening to, and then of course, of course, also their their music, you know, in there. Um, and then um, what is this one? Prince. Oh, Prince. Pur purple well, rain. This is purple rain. Yeah. Oh, I got a qu I, I got a thing about this one. So I painted this live. Well, I was at a um, an art festival, the the Denton Arts and Jazz Festival, and I was working on this painting. But then this jazz group on because at, at, at Denton Arts and Jazz, there's a number of stages. It's so much fun. We love going there. But one of the stages that was closest to us had a jazz group, and it, this female singer, and they started singing. Purple Rain, and she was amazing. It was just awesome, and 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 that's why there's so much purple in the in his. Yeah, it was like it was like less than a week after he died. He he died because yeah, I was already working on the paint. It, it was, was everywhere. Like, like yeah, it, it was like weird. His music they, was everywhere. Oh my gosh, but it, yeah. So, um, so that was literal. Like the um, purple to me is one of the sort of F notes and different things. It, it depends on the music, but but uh, but I had to. I you know but. But that's a time where it's not necessarily the music being played, but just the feeling of it. And they were playing pur Purple Rain, such a soulful rendition. I don't know. Had to have some purple. Of course, Louie. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Man. What a, what a guy. <laughs> I, what a guy. I, I love me some Louie. Jack, okay. Jack, our son, he loves Louie. I'll, I'll, I'll go in there and he's going to school every once in a while. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just hear that. You're like, oh, yes. <laughs> you are cool, my son. So, um,. Louis, of course, he has a lot of slow, slower music and, and whatnot, but there's also some where it's, um, it gets crazy. It gets a little more, you know, you know, it's not like, it's not like Cold, Cold Train or anything like that, but, you know, there's definitely a whole lot more energy. You've got more of that New Orleans kind of feel to it. You yeah. Know? And, and, um, so, you know, so he, he could get people bopping, you know, up, up on the dance floor every once in a while. Um, what's this? Uh, Willie Nelson. Oh, yeah, it's a Willie. I've done a couple of paintings of Willie Nelson. Um, now this is a man that's got some range in a way. Like he'll he'll play some some low slow songs that are, have a lot of emotion and, and feeling. And uh, and I cannot remember the name of the song that I was listening to. It was probably a melody, a, a medley of them. But uh, but you've gotten a few commissions for Willie. It, Willie is a popular subject. Yeah, I like Willie. I like I like painting his face, all those crags and stuff. It's like he's like doing a mountain range. And um, <laughs> but he, he just seems like such a a, gen, a genuine person, you know. So, uh, but the, but they're different though because his music is different range. So it's like it's like doing a painting of Elvis. Like he's saying a lot of different things, you know. You got like Aloha, this and that, and you got you know the fifties or the you know and then the whole 
um, conversation, you know, the sparkly Yeah, suits it's, I mean, it's funny if you go back to, like, when he first kind of started, he was in a suit and tie on the, what is it, the Sullivan Show or something crazy? Well, yeah, he has his hips moving, though, from, yeah. from, from, the, from the waist down. He was, like, going. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Back then, it was a lot. Oh, Bones. This oh, is a good one. Oh, yeah. This, this is the last one. Okay, so so all, all, all of that before were, 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 were people, where I was actually listening to their music, painting them. Um, but there's other ways to do music. So one, one way to visualize music, to, to see it, is by, you know, by listening to it. And then, um, and I love painting the artists. Like for tomorrow night, doing the Mandy Harvey, I was actually listening to her music, p- putting that in her, her painting. But another thing is just listening to music and trying to capture the vibe or using that music to paint other things. It doesn't even have to have anything to do with that music. Bones, of course, does. But I love New Orleans. I love the brass bands. I love all of that energy. And it's just, you know, it's just this generational sort of really cool kind of thing. Um, so, um, so, so this is depicting one of the times where they're marching down the street. They're playing the bands. You know, it's... New Orleans is right around the corner. Thing, things are happening. Stuff, stuff's uh, moving around. Things yeah, I shaking. love the vibrancy. This, the, and, and this is one of my f- favorite paintings because it just really you can feel like the music in in the scene. You know, it's I well, like that's that. Cool. But you know, and there's no right or wrong when it comes to visualizing music. Um, color is a way of expressing. You know, it's like it's like an adjective or a verb. You know, you can use color to help describe other things. So. If something makes you feel a certain way, whether you know, and it could be music, you can use color to describe that feeling, you know, and that's that's awesome. Oh, family, this is oh. a good one. Oh, family, yeah, this is another one. So I know that elephants generally aren't painted this way. I mean, don't aren't this way in nature, but this is an elephant family, but it's also a music painting. So it's the different notes and different sounds that I'm hearing. And this this is another thing where it's it's a medley. It's like happy songs, it's songs that make me think of family. And um, so, so that's that's what I was listening to to inspire the palette for this painting. Well, I should say Cheryl uh, Powers Torstenson um, has joined us. Says I love your paintings and I hope one day to own one. Um, and Lindsay Joe Mason joins us. Says just saw one of your paintings today for the first time. It was painted on my husband's uh, job. Absolutely beautiful work. Oh, oh very cool. Well, I wonder where that you, is. Thank you. I'm fascinated. Yeah. Well, Interesting. thank you. Oh, movement number ten. Oh, okay. So, 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 so this is a it's it's a figure study, but it's um, but it's a geometric sort of figure study in a way where it's it's figures, but um, and but it's also music. So I'm using music to color the background and color the people and everything. So I just wanted to give some different ideas of how how I've used music. Maybe it'll give people ideas of, of ways to to use to use music. And and a lot of artists will listen to music while they're painting and. They're, you know, they're not necessarily painting a music painting, but they're putting a particular music to put them in a, in a vibe, in a zone. So in a way, it's kind of a music painting, in a way. Um, so this one, this this is the... Um, oh, rocking. Rocking, okay. Um, so I, every once in a while, I, I, I love to do a painting of, of a lady with her hair flowing. And one of the things I love about that is that I'll have different notes from a song, you know, on there. So, you know, I should have put that... Contra. Well, Contra and... Um, so 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 he won't break. Oh yeah yeah. Because well, I, I have the black keys one. I didn't put this on there. I didn't even think about it. But on on so he won't break. It's every note of the song. Like it's it's actually in the you know the way it would be played. So if you knew the colors that I was seeing when I was hearing it, you'd you'd actually be able to play the song just by looking at the painting. And uh, I didn't put that on here. So you know there you go. <laughs> if you go look at the painting next time. <laughs> yeah, it's on my website. Sorry, um, but. Um, but it's a very like simple song. Like the like black keys, like they're like you look in the lyrics are really simple. Like, but they seem so much more complex until you go. Well, and you did that with a few paintings. Yeah. And and this this is just another example of that sort of idea where, you know, it's it, you get the idea. Sometimes I want to give people the idea that it is a music painting mm-hmm. by throwing in an instrument, like 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 the guitar before the violin here. And um, and here's here's another one. I think this is the last one of mine. Standing against the storm. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so this is a pretty recent one. Uh, we've done like the last four months or so, and uh, it's the same idea. Where it's it's music in the hair, and I I, I love that because you know it's just a way to separate the notes. Oh, Lindsay um, chimed in and said, um, 
near 110 Madison Avenue in Dallas, a woman playing the guitar. So it's it's probably the Bishop Arts mural over there. Oh, there you go. That's cool. That's awesome. That's always fun to hear oh, about people seeing it and stuff like that. Heck yeah, man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Okay, so you, you're, you're doing the Kandinsky. Oh, here, here we, we are. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to talk really quickly, and I, you know, I want this to be like a class. In case we get kicked off. Yeah, yeah, because we do have a video, and then we kick us off, guys. So if we get kicked off, sorry. Um, but this th- this is um, K- Kandinsky. One of the things I think is really cool about Kandinsky is that he actually researched a little bit like into, um, um, oh, gosh, I just said the name so many times. Um, you know when you see, it's what I have. Synesthesia? Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say schizophrenia. I couldn't think or of that. the name. It's really the same. That's schizophrenia in my brain. I couldn't get. That's schizophrenia in my brain. I couldn't get it out. That's so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. Um, synesthesia, but um, but he came up with all these different ways of like of like different notes meeting different things and just worked out a huge system of very intricate kind of system of a bit. But what did the circles mean? You know, well, it just depends. Like, I mean, it was just... Cause I mean, I but it was mostly about color and stuff that he was working out, that, that, from what I've read. Huh. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But I'm, probably they meant records, but... I well, don't that's what I wonder, and I wonder if, like, the 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 grids were, like, maybe piano keys? I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, I mean, it, what's kind of interesting, too, is that a lot of these um, people, like, like Klee, Kaninsky, um, Mondrian... And stuff were, were influenced by like well Bach for one of them, but but a lot of jazz too though is in there, you know, and also like cl- classical, but a lot of jazz, bebop, like Mon- Mondrian, all this. I mean, it's just so it's like all this crazy sort of stuff in there. Thought, whoa, I'm gonna make crazy art because <laughs> that. And um, so this is another one. This is the one I think that goes to the video. That yeah. You I think this is. Should we show that video right now, or should we wait in case? It, in case, um, it's a YouTube video. Like it's not a thing, but it's just that sometimes Facebook will say, you know, like oh, but I, I mean, mean, it's I a you know, give it a try, man. Okay, well, uh, here we go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good knowing you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, hold it. Oh know. gosh, let me show that one again. Okay, guys. So here is. Um, this 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 is an idea of that, that somebody put of actually taking Kandinsky's work and and then and putting music to it. Here, just a second. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> just, just in case, because it should, it should be okay. It's just that um, um, to play something, but sometimes. Yeah, we might get kicked off. I yeah, will say though, because, because Facebook would be like, like it should be okay for to play that. It was an educational video thing and all that, but it's just, you know, they they'd rather be more proactive. So sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know. So yeah, if you're curious about this, because because it was on um, the Bauhaus movement. YouTube channel mm. and they have a whole bunch of artists that and a lot of Kandinsky mm-hmm. which they'll they'll put animation and put the music to and everything and um, they had a uh, Mondrian one that was really cool uh, so if, check it out if you want to watch the full thing I think you shared it on social months ago but um, it's really cool so check out ba- Bauhaus movement yeah, yeah, on YouTube that's, that's a cool movement and um, so this is just I mean just stuff that you know so whenever you're creative you're, you're creating that's be painting. Put on the music. Think about how it makes you feel. Artists have been using this for a long time. What, what is this? Mondrian. Pit. Hey. <laughs> Mondrian. So this, believe it or not, these are um, trees. Well, well, there's trees or what, what people <laughs> say, but um, but they're they're music paintings as well. 
Like he, he was yeah. heavily influenced by bebop, jazz. He was trying to get it down, and I, you know, he, I don't really see it. Like I never saw when people say it's like bebop and jazz. Well, I think I think okay. This is what I think uh-huh. is I- if you look at some of his work, he has like the these typical ones that everybody sees. But he was he really liked fast paced music, mm-hmm. not the waltzes and all that sort of stuff. So if you look at like um, Broadway boogie woogie, okay, yeah, 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 that one, and I then love that one. and then play the music with it. I mean, it's. I mean, it, it feels like it vibrates a bit more than mm. some of the other work. So, now that's in that cool. sense, maybe you can kind of see. Yeah, mu- you, you found a video in it, but I, I didn't want to share because I thought, right, man, right, right. We're, we're risking it with one video. We do too. Oh. <laughs> we're asking for it. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the Well, idea. my mom says, wow, I love that about the Kandinsky videos. Oh, that's, yeah, that was a good It yeah. is cool. It is cool. Look it up. Everybody should. Yeah, yeah, and, they, and there's so many people doing cool things with that. So, so this is cool. So, you know, there's no right or wrong when it comes to it. Like we've, we've done workshops with children in museums where we'll do music paintings, and the kids will do, like, the rhythm, or, the, or maybe like they'll follow the drum beat, and they'll, they'll make lines for that, you know? And, and, and then um, other, other parts will be maybe, like, it's just, like, the treble or the bass or this or that, you know, and they'll start adding it all together. We've done it where they've layered them all, you know, and then, and then put it together, and then by the end of it, they have the whole song. Like, they painted in the bass, they painted in the drum, they painted it, you know, but... And, um, and it's fun. It's just, you know, there's no right or wrong with this. Um, so whatever inspires you. So this, I think, would be Paul Klee. I guess. I'm, I'm not familiar with Yeah, and Klee, Klee okay. So this one is 1932. It's polyphonic. Um, but it's based on um, the polyphonic chords of Bach and stuff. So he was Sounds real... fancy. Yeah, and one, one thing about Klee, though, that was kind of interesting is that he's before Matisse, and but... Where, I mean, I'm sorry, before Matisse, he was before uh, Mon- Mondrian, mm-hmm. uh, like the, like this painting, and where Mondrian is really bright, Klee was always like, you know, like it wasn't quite, you know, was it, it's like, I don't know, like I, I like I like Mondrian better probably, but you know, I mean, well, if you've ever seen yeah. my paintings, they're all crazy and crazy colors, so if you had to guess which one i probably lean towards, it'd probably be the brighter color one. But. Yeah. But this is Bach, though, and he was really interested because he... Um, Klee, Klee had this idea that um, the chords of in, in music, the way the music was played, um, was the same as as color, which to me is obvious. I mean, like you know, like I was like, well, yeah, you know, of course it is. You know, like you can see it. You know, it's it's that, that is the way it is, and and um, so he tried to to, to to represent it, and I think that's interesting because if you just look at the painting, you might think like, oh, that's just like blocks or something. Yeah, I mean, see, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, like, I don't like this painting. <laughs> I don't like it at all. You're, you're like, you're I, like, love bad. I love Monty Clee bad. Yeah, and that's perfect. I mean, you know, that's one of the things that's kind of neat, too, about art. I think that's kind of fun is that, you know, it's like you, you probably shouldn't like every painting. Like, you go into a museum, but the ones that you don't like might be just as interesting as the ones you do, because why don't you like it? Like, what is it? Was it? Is it something it's saying? Is it? Is it because of the, the colors? Is it the lines? You know. So whenever you look at it and you're kind of, you know, you're using sort of an art critique kind of kind of mind, you're like, you know, I don't like that painting. I'm gonna look at it for a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, which is you know, which it can also be entertaining. It's like, is that something? Isn't that why we watch reality TV? Like, this is yes. a train wreck. I can't I cannot look at this. I mean, I'm guilty. I'm not saying Paul Klee's a train wreck, but you know, you are. I don't so know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brooke says, I think Jackie has lost it. Oh, honey, it's been gone. It's been gone. <laughs> Kim says, Bach and uh, Monet meet geom- uh, geometric. I like it. Oh, see? Oh, and Brooke says Jeff Bridges has l- lymphoma. So oh, yeah. sad. I know we read that today on, on his Facebook. That's. Yeah, this is sucks. Like, that's, that's awful. I wish him the best. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and the, yeah. No, the other well, reason I, I put it, Jeff Bridges in here was he was using some of my art for what his what album or something he was doing. Oh, like, sleep sounds. Yeah, sleep sounds. Mm-hmm. So he's using my art for that, I, which I thought was really cool. But man, I hope he feels better. Um, obviously, gosh. Um, so who's this crazy guy? Oh, this what. Oh, oh, Matisse, Matisse. This, oh, so okay. this is called Jazz, and it was made in 1947. So was this post um, uh, sight loss or pre? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? <laughs> Oranges? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, I, I want to say it's post. I want to say it's post. It looks post. Um, it looks because post. this is when he started. But I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like 99.9% sure it's post. Yeah. 
but I don't know the date that he lost his eyesight, so I, I can't think of it, but I want to say this is pretty post. It looks very post. I mean, because okay, it's cool, the, cool. he, yeah, collage work and stuff. Yeah, so, oh. so this is a whole other way to do, you know, like, this is called jazz. And, you know, and, and it's, you know, so it's a whole other way to be able to depict and, and visualize music, which I think is really cool. I mean, like, if you looked at this and you look at Mont Mondrian, you looked at Klee, you look at all the stuff, you look at Kandinsky, you look at my stuff, every, everything is different, you know? Yeah, um, I mean, that's what makes art so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, Brooke uh, followed it up with Cancer Sucks, and yes, oh, I would agree. And then uh, uh, Shin has joined us and says, Wonderful seeing music. Sound creates images. You did the similar thing for your uh, Hocus Sao. Is that how, you, how I say that? I don't know what you're I saying. You know the wave paint, the the wave painting you did. Oh yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing <laughs> that correctly. Um, you kindly <laughs> listened to Lamette. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, you kindly listened to Lamette by Du Boussy to feel the wave. That was fantastic. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, ab absolutely, and that's yeah. That, uh, you know, it's funny like. Painting the wave and all that was it was very um, relaxing. I was gonna say cathartic. Yeah, it was. It was very cathartic. You know, it's, it's you know it's funny how there's there's um, some some compositions that you do and you put together and, and um, um, I don't know they'll energize you. Others they'll they'll calm you down. Some 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 will make you feel more optimistic. Um, I've been trying to use colors and things that that have been helping with my diet. Oh yeah, it's Monday. I've got to weigh in. Um, so, so this is the second week that I've been on been on the diet, and I've I've lost eight pounds so far, and uh, which isn't a lot. That's a lot. Well, but I don't, I was hoping to be a little further along, but I knew that I probably wouldn't because I knew this this week was gonna there was gonna have some cheat days because we finished the mural. Yeah, and, and that's you know. So I knew that it would finish. Like you know, we were like, oh my gosh. So we went to grab Jack, and we went to to the Sweetwater, and. Um, had, you know, we had some chips had and stuff. Celebratory meal. Yeah, and then and a margarita, and it was great. You know, and then so it continued for two days. <laughs> oh, you, but no, um, for for me. Oh, you, no, oh, you, she's crazy. Is that is that why you're green? Now? Yeah. <laughs> is, this, is this what happens when you drink margaritas? <laughs> uh, well, Kylie says Monet lost his eyesight in 1922. So, mm. um, yes, that's right. Yeah. He. Uh, yeah, Monet is. I, mean, I love. Yeah, his work's awesome. I love Claude. <laughs> I love me some Claude. He's so, awesome, and, and I love how his work changed after he lost. He started losing with the cataracts. How, how the visual perspective, and then when he had surgery done, I think on his left eye, and they they removed the lens, uh, but it's but he started being able to perceive UV a little bit, and then that changed the colors even more, and then because he couldn't see as well, he 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 started thinking about color in completely different ways. And, uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I could go on Claude. I just Claude, good old Claude. Well, on the first name basis, you know. <laughs> well, do you want to hear some um, quick facts? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry guys, I know I ran, I rambled on about the He's music a stuff. It's been a different, it's been a different stream tonight. But it's because the Mandy Harvey thing is tomorrow, and um, so everybody tune in. The link is in the comments. Yeah, and it's it's for a really good cause. It'll be fun. And. You know, and I don't seem like, you know, people don't have to donate. I mean, it's great if they do. Like, it's a, for a really good cause. But even viewing in and yeah, just a like me, means a lot. To just ch tune in and listen to her awesome music. It's yeah. phenomenal. Um, okay, so I've got some Frankenstein facts. I'll ask you some questions. Lay it on me. <laughs> do you know how... No, well, first of all, let me just say this. Frankenstein was written by a woman. You know that, right? Mary Shelley? Yeah, but look at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how old she was? When she wrote it? Yeah. <gasps> Come on, get recall. 32? 32. What? That's the number? <laughs> this is like back in like 1816. They, they, did they live that long? Oh, gosh. Okay, so I'm <laughs> guessing younger. Um, what did me think? Because it was a... Well, okay, so let me think. Because she, 
She wrote it after 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 like a holiday spent with some of these people. Yeah, she and went. That's to what inspired it. She went to Switzerland, mm-hmm. and it had just been right after the big a big uh, volcano happened, and so it affected the climate. So it wasn't there was a it was a summerless whatever in Switzerland. Yeah, and there there and, and there was a lot of stuff in the news about Aleister Crowley and stuff too, which was considered the wickedest man around then. And then that kind of yeah. and the idea of like this evil person, and then. Right. This other, like this person who's up, up to no good, maybe in, in in secret, yeah, was one thing, you know. Which and then, um, so oh, was, was she okay? Was she nineteen? Mm, very close. She was twenty one. Eighteen. Eighteen. Oh yes, got it. First try. Um. <laughs> well, it was published when when she was twenty, but I think she wrote it before that. Wow, she peaked. Um, eight, yeah. Uh. So. Yes, they were in a they they were visiting somebody in Switzerland and they they were stuck in the house kind of like now, and the, uh, and the guy was like, let's have a ghost story contest. Oh yeah! And so she wrote it, and of course, you know, blew everybody away. And people were like, wow, you've got a yeah yeah. Who was it? There was a poet that was there too. Um, Shelley. Um, no, well, Shelley, w- her husband was is Percy Bosch Shelley. That's the dude that she married. But okay. Lord Byron. Oh, okay. okay. Was was, was the one that proposed the ghost story competition. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said she got it. She got it from a, the idea from a dream. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then uh, let's see. Um, I feel like I'm learning. You are every day. I like it. Um, so and it it. it Came out of tragedy a little bit. Uh, she gave birth to a daughter, daughter Clara, who died six weeks later. Mm. Sucks. Hey, hey, In fact, for her, uh, only one of her four children lived to adulthood. <sighs> Dang. It's back man. in the day, man. Well, ain't cool. Um, hey, 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 hey! Can, can we lighten the mood just real quick? Yes. C- can you say fire bath? Fire bath. <laughs> Thank you, that helped. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> uh, okay, and then Frankenstein obviously is the scientist, but the creature was either the monster, creature, demon, or it. Mm. So, um, the novel shares its name with a castle in Germany. So Mary said that she had just come up with the idea, but there's, there's talk that maybe they were there... That she at some point she had visited this castle, Ooh. and inside this castle, a chemist actually worked. A, a, he, um, I forget what what he did. He, and what well, not a chemist? What do they call them? Alchemists? 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 Or, or like a, yeah, like a. You know, he mixed oils or something. Like that. I don't know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> he was a hippie. So mixed oils um, with astrological symbols. <laughs> Um, and obviously it, it was slammed by critics, but, um, the, uh, what was it? The, uh, let me see here. It did, it got, okay. Um, in 1823, a play titled Presumption or the Fate of Frankenstein made it popular in 1831. Oh, cool. So um, that's interesting. It was Man, a science know, fiction novel. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And it's funny when you read it because it's. It's it's like it's like a travel novel, like you know, it's like it's like letters. And Is it really? Back and forth. Yeah. So, I didn't but know it, that. it was sort of the way you know. It's funny when you read novels like through throughout history how they change, like like it, like like for Gulliver's travels, tra- travel logs are really like the thing. You know, it's kind of huh. like ca- Caribbean living. Like you're like, oh, I wonder what it's like to live in the Caribbean. So you w- watch those shows, and then back then you would read these these, these travel logs of people that would go on adventures and go to different places. So it was like reality journaling. Yeah, and then so 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 Swift like wrote wrote like it was like a travel log, but going to a fantastic place, and then Mary Shelley wrote like you know it was like letters back like, dear Jonathan, ba ba da ba ba da, and it was just I don't know, I'm a nerd. Uh, well, um, okay, uh, let me go back to the comments a little bit. Um, uh, Burke Scoggins wanted to remind everybody to go vote, so yes, go vote. John and I did it today. Oh, if you live in Denton, um, go, go vote at the Gateway Yeah, Center. They it was were like super crazy nice. They were really nice Holy and moly. and not busy at all. No, and and, and Jackie voted twice, so that was even that was even Don't better. Say that. No, <laughs> no, she did. No, no, there was a, there, there there was a mess up on there the was first a mess ballot, up on my ballot, so, so I had to spoil it. one ballot and go back. Yeah, and blah, 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 blah. 
So she really only voted once, but she got to fill out two ballots. <laughs> yeah, I, I had that thing memorized. I, I memorized <laughs> the thing before I went in, but regardless. Then she had um, to fill out my ballots, so she really filled out three ballots. But Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Brooke guessed 34 on um, The Age, and uh, Kim said, will Mandy's concert link drop in your Facebook page tomorrow? Yes, we will share it a lot, and yeah. hopefully throughout it, because John's pa- doing like uh, revealing a painting during it, so... Um, and then Brooke said, my kids are reading Dr. Jekyll, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, in two weeks. So yeah, that, that, that's cool. That's, oh, that's, that's a, a great yeah, story. That's a good one. Oh, and I want to say um, next next Tuesday, um, well, well ne- next, ne- next Tuesday, um, there's a, a thing for Boise Startup Week. And I'm going to be oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be doing some of the money show. We'll be talking about that. But um, I did a video for them. And I think I think they're, it's going to be played like with a it's like a it's like a week long activity. And they were really, they're were, they were so amazing, they're so brilliant, but we'll talk more about it. But they put my message right right there with the mayor, so, so I don't know. But we'll, we'll talk it's more about fancy. that. It's, yeah, it's a real, real nice event, so that'll be cool. But so we're going to be very optimistic, very pro. So, um, yay. <laughs> okay, so, so next live show, we are going to reveal the mural. Mm. It's going to be good. Heck yeah. Um, and, uh, um... Maybe talk about the concert and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We'll actually be able to show that. So next Thursday, we can actually show the artwork that we've been talking about forever. Oh my gosh! Oh, and Jeff Jeff Walls says, "Y'all, have y'all seen uh, Lower Decks?" Yes, yes, yes. Every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't the biggest fan from the um, from the I mean, like. I didn't dislike it, but I but all all the captains on it were just so in, non Starfleet. I know it's from the Lower Decks perspective. But they were just so like not not Star Trek. Well, and it, I think it's supposed casting. to be a, a totally different Star Trek. It's it not, is. Yeah, it, it's it not, is. It is. It's and, supposed and, to have that sort of humor of angst. But, or whatever. but they've kind of pulled that back because the captains just weren't like like it wasn't believable. Even even being it was like the captain can the captain can be like aggressive and 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 kind of a jerk, but don't make morally bad decisions or be just kind of. A terrible person. You don't want that because that that's bad. I think in in the Star yeah. Trek. Anyway, anyway. See yeah. soapbox. See what happens. <laughs> see, that is, <laughs> but I, I didn't like it that much in the beginning. It was okay, but I mean, I like Star Trek anything. But um, but as the season went on, they they I don't know. They started changing the captains a little bit. I don't know if they got. I mean, I'm sure it was all written way beforehand. But the but the captains started becoming a little more star, like just not being making terrible decisions all right. the time. Like I don't know. Anyway, Star Trek. Star- <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna end every show with <laughs> yeah Star Trek. Okay, so well, well that's cool. Well, yeah, awesome. well, guys. Well, thank you all for gosh and yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're excited about Thursday, so be yeah. sure and join us. That that'll be a big big. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, so much finally be able to show you guys that. But but thank you all for for helping make our Monday better. We sure appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. See you Thursday. Bye.